welcome back to my channel my name is Leanne and today we are doing another artist card that I do with my pen pal Bree from Documented Journey um, for those of you that don't know we give each other three prompts and we swap artist cards and letters um, to each other so this is the third one and this is the card that she sent me the three prompts that I gave her were an arrow the color blue and a quote and I absolutely love this card like so so much I love that she made the arrow a traffic sign I'm obsessed with signs um, and industrial signs I don't know why it's just my thing so anyway I cannot wait to put this in my journal I am so excited to do that if you would like to see her make this card I will leave the video linked in the description box below down there and you can go watch it um, it's so amazing to watch her work and see all of her work come to life um, so if you don't know Brie already go ahead and check her out the three prompts she gave me this time were the color yellow the color purple and a quote so let's see what we can make All right, so the first thing I think of when I think of yellow and purple is sunsets. So I just pulled out a piece of watercolor paper and I drew a box roughly about the size that I wanted my painting to be. And just started drawing a sunset. I really like beaches, so I did kind of like a beachy sunset, um, more of like a jetty type thing. Um, so yeah, I just found like a quick reference photo on Instagram and started drawing that out in my palette color Eno blue pencil. And then I'm going to fill it in with some watercolors, of course. And I can't tell you how many times I almost dipped my paintbrush in my wine. I really should have moved it. Like really should have moved it, but it worked out okay. So, um, what colors did I use? That is a good question. I know I used quinacridone gold. I probably used some opera pink and some purple from Jane Davenport and some orange. I don't know. I'm just going to stop. I know I used quinacridone gold because I really like it. And that was what I used for the yellow. But other than that, I'm not quite sure. So, just laying that down. Um, I really just kept working the colors to get kind of the composition that I wanted. Um, of course, I tried to make the main colors yellow and purple because that was the prompt. Um, but I threw some pink in there and I had some orange too, of course. But uh, I don't want it to be too orange. So, if when I get... Um, too much of one color that I don't really want. I just blot it up a little with my towel and start over. So there's a lot of layers on this and paper did start to peel up a little bit but I don't have like the best quality watercolor paper so I'm gonna blame the paper. Let's blame the paper. But it's probably really my fault. So I just took some brown and went in to kind of block out where the rocks were um, or where I wanted them to be. I'm really just trying to feel pretty loose with this. And just took some blue, tried to darken that up a little bit. I did let that layer dry and went back in. This is my second layer, kind of. Adding more brown for the rocks. I really like rich colors, so I like putting a lot of layers on um, and building up to the color that I want. I decided to put a little sun in there. I felt like it was kind of missing something. Here I go again, too much orange. <laughs> so again, just darkening up the colors. I need to put more purple back in there. I 
I added a little bit of the purple to the water. It's a great shadow color. More darkening of the rocks. <laughs> All right, so now I've let that dry and I took my paper cutter out and I'm going to cut around my image so that I'm working on a more definite surface kind of. So it's doing that. Then I pulled out my Inktense pencils and I just went in with the same colors, similar colors to what I used with the watercolor and added even more detail and vibrancy where I wanted it. I really like pairing my Inktense pencils with watercolor, especially when I'm doing um, urban sketching or landscape portraits. I think it's just, um, I only have the 12 sets, so they're really simple colors, but they're always the ones that you need. Um, it's a really great addition. And they work really well together. So, here I am. I went in and outlined the rocks a little bit more in that pencil, and now I'm just wetting it to blend it in and make it look like it was part of the picture all along, and not just some sketchy pencil drawing. I added some more purple, pink, and blue to the water. I really wanted to give that dark but sun still setting feel. I added a little bit more to the sky. A lot of the time I find that my water brush is too wet, so what I'll do is I will squeeze a little dot out on the back of my hand and use it that way. Um, so that's what you see me doing if you see me keep putting it on, <laughs> going to my hand for water. So anyway, I took my Lamy and made a little border around the outside with some carbon ink. I also decided to go in and do some outlining in my photo. You saw me a little bit. I was debating on cutting down the tip in because it is a little bigger than I usually do for Brie since she has small journals. Um, but it just, I feel like it would have taken away from what I did. So I left it as is. More lines. I did some water lines. I outlined the rocks a little more. Um... Just defining some more features. I added some lines to the sky. Then I went in with my white uni ball signo and put in some highlights. One of the things I really like doing with the signo is putting it down and then smudging it really quick with my finger before it dries so that it's not such a harsh line. And I find it gives a really, um, it softens it up a lot. It gives it a nice touch and I like doing that. And of course, the third prompt was a quote, so I chose a quote by Shakespeare that said, The earth has music for those who listen. And I thought that went really well with the scene that I chose. Then I went back in with my white pen and put a few little stars um, in the sky and reflecting in the water. And then I just took um, some Tim Holtz mica spray in, um, oh gosh, pewter I think, and put some little dots um, in the corner. Just to add a little extra something something. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to check out Brie. I will leave her linked in the description box below. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.